Hey there guys, welcome to a new series we're doing on Dead Cells, which is a, it's a, it's a roguelike game, kind of like how Isaac is, where you go through the game, get upgrades, fight a boss, fight till the end, you, it, it won't take long if you're good at it, but knowing me, it'll be a while before I get a win, and that's kind of what I'm going for here, is just kind of, what I'm wanting to do with this is kind of just have it as a off series. Kind of something I can just play and just talk over. And, uh, I already played about an hour of this. So I won't look too stupid. <laughs> Hopefully. Alright, lost our head, did we? Your guy doesn't really talk, he's just kind of there. Well, nothing to say for yourself? Oh, well, yes, I see the problem. I suppose you didn't think to find yourself back here. But surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. I still don't understand. It was like this with the others for a while. Okay, so at this, I've played about an hour of it on my laptop. I didn't bring over the save file so I could show you guys what all the stuff is in the beginning. Uh, at the start of each of them, you get like a bow or a shield. Well, for now, anyway. Uh, don't really care too much for the shield, so we'll just go do take the bow. You have your dodge, which makes you invulnerable. And you have your basic attacks with each weapon. And uh, you collect these little things called cells. Which are the blue things, uh, the big blue ones that are around. And then they give you, like, upgrades for blueprints and patterns you can find. Such as this. So now we have a blueprint for a pattern. Sometimes enemies can drop weapons or shields like that. Which is nice. But other than that, you just get, like, upgrades from little... Do we need this? Blocks attack, shakes loose gold from enemies' teeth. Uh, also transforms enemies around into gold. Probably would be better than the bow. The bow's not that great. Or at least what I've used of the bow is not that great. Although I might just suck. And then there are little health pickups. We get potions later on, but that's uh, that's for later, not right now. But yeah, as you go through the game, you can find stuff like these scrolls of power or scrolls of health, strength, or skill. Each of the scrolls of uh, power lets you choose which one you want. I'll just take strength for now, because I think early on strength is the best, especially when you don't have access to many of your uh, alternate weapons. I forgot exactly what they're called. An electric whip. Okay. I actually didn't get this the whole time I was playing the other time. And then there's like shops which you can buy stuff with the gold you accumulate over multiple runs because you can make it where the gold does stay with you or a percentage of the gold stays with you after each run. So you don't just lose everything. But that's what the dead cells also do. They, uh... Or just cells. We were already up here. They make it to where you actually, uh... Can get new weapons to pop up over each time. So it does have, like, a sense of progression. Okay, that's neat. Uh, that's an actual weapon. Stuns enemies that have more than 75% health. That could be good. Ah, that was not at all, though. Can the whip hit multiple people? I don't know. I haven't really got to test it. I'd probably take the hammer, because it's fairly easy to uh, work together with Hammer's fairly good to work with the sword, or so I've seen. 
honestly, all of this is just my opinion so far, because I have no real play playthrough of this game. I haven't even beat the first boss, but... But like that, we got a skill right there, which lets us throw down a bear trap, and enemies can get caught in it. Uh, and whenever we get those skill upgrades, the power and cooldown of those gets reduced. Okay, so it stuns people at, that are like at full health, so we should pretty much go in with the hammer. And then just work on that from there. There we go. There are also little secret, basically, the Isaac equivalent of tinted rocks in the game. That's what I'll probably be comparing a lot of stuff to Isaac, because that's like the game like this that I'm most familiar with. Now this is the guy, uh, he's the collector, about the closest thing the company will get. In exchange for cells you pillage from foes, I can provide you with a few useful items. If you uncover any blueprints, I may be able to provide you with some more experimental items. So we get our blueprints, and this is actually where we get our first healing potion, which is very nice. And we can upgrade that over the course of the game. Here's our gold recovery thing. See, when uh, you conserve 25% of your gold when you die, very important to have, at least in the early parts of it so you don't just run around with no gold and then you can keep improving it and get a bunch of weapons later on not even death takes stuff from you simply put if you want more power then bring me more cells now prisoner out of my sight your presence grows tiring okay nice so we do have our healing potion now don't have to worry about that But yeah, I think this should come out like after all the other games that I'm doing right now. So I'd be okay to talk about them. Because we got Prey, we got Dead Space 2, and we have uh, Wolfenstein, which that was already a thing. But the other ones weren't until right now. But okay, what was this? Hold up. Okay, so there are different levels of items in here, like we have the Nutcracker 1 equipped, but now we've uh, found the Nutcracker level 2, which just gives it a 10% damage increase, and sometimes they can give extra bonuses, like the 100% damage on a burning target, which, I mean, we have no way to burn them right now, but if we do, that would be very nice. Okay. Yeah, I've really been enjoying those other games now. Like, some of them a lot more than I thought I would. Like, I've really liked Prey so far. But it was just kind of slow at the beginning, which is an issue for a good bit of games, I guess. Oh, all, right here, uh, there are these little training dummy things. Alright, we're... Hello? Okay, I'm not doing too well here. You know what? Let me just go down here instead. Alright, that was... That was unfortunate. I don't know. Can I make it across there? Yeah, I can. Everything's for sale. Okay, we might want to, uh... Ooh. I think I'll, I think I'll take that. The balanced blade. What well, the balance blade is, it's like more than just three or so basic attacks. You can pretty much non-stop attack with it. Which can be nice for certain situations. Well, pretty much most situations. And it gives us health back with each hit. Which, if it was another sword, probably wouldn't be too great. But, uh... The balanced blade with that actually is real nice. Oh! Okay, 
Okay, hold on. My bad. <laughs> I forget. The issue with that is uh, I kind of took the one that, like, took away some of our health. Okay, we just have to play this very carefully. There we go. Beat the elite. Nice. Ruby amulet. Uh, let's see. Ruby amulet. May only equip one amulet at a time, but their effects are powerful. Drops a bomb when you roll poisons enemies that you hurt. Does it just poison any enemy that we hurt, or only that we hurt with the bomb? Kind of an odd way to phrase it, but, I mean, whatever, I'll take it. An oiled sword. Ooh, okay. So, the game being in early access and all, uh, they're still updating it, like, on a regular basis. And the most recent update, or I think the first, like, big update was the Elemental update. And that, like, made a lot more fire weapons or something like that in the game made them at least a lot more useful. Also, you get chests like this, and uh, then give you some nice abilities. I think... Hmm. We don't have anything that burns the target, or else I would stick with the Nutcracker right now. So, uh... It just basically freezes all the targets around where you shoot it out from. Which is, which is a nice little thing. Not the best weapon, but it'll get the job done for the most part. Electric Whip 2. Enemies burn when they die. And honestly, if we don't do too bad in this, like, we can actually stay full health with our blade. With our balance blade we have here. Now, in the first game of it, I can't get too far, really, because that's just how the nature of the game is. Like, I only have one charge on my healing potion and can't really do too much with that. I'll probably just get strength, because I think our health is good, because our ruby amulet actually gave us more health. There are also these challenge doors, which seal after a certain amount of time. Don't know if those bombs hurt us yet, but, uh... It doesn't even look like we can run back fast enough to worry about getting hurt by them, so I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. Okay, but we're doing pretty good so far, but I think, like, I could beat maybe, like, a boss or two with what I have. If, like, it kept going, but the part about the first run is it actually kind of makes you go through and just, uh, get pretty much... It's to build up your core items, and by core items, I mean, basically, it's letting you get more movability about the game. Because there are some places you can't even uh, access until after your very first run. Or after the first few couple runs. Because you get items such as like a plate, uh, something that makes you just be able to create climbable vines. What else is the other one? I know that there was one more. I forgot what it was. I'm sure I'll see it around here soon. Fairly soon, yeah, because like right here we can't even climb that. That would be the things we could vine. We could climb. We just create vines out of those on the ground. And so we're forced to go in here. Normally you would go up above to progress. But here is this guy.
Ooh. Nope. Okay. Alright, well, I just kept running back. It we lost 29 cells. That's not too great. Pretty bad, actually. But, uh... see what we have here. Yeah. Back already? Oh yeah, thanks for that. Doesn't seem to be going all that well, really. Yeah. Saying I thought I could beat a boss or something. I suck at this game. I don't know what I'm talking about. Have you noticed how everything seems a little different each time? One could think the island is alive. I wonder if... What do you make of all this? 